Good morning to all my dear students. Hope you all are doing great. Dear students, in our last class we discussed about acid, bases and indicators. Clear all of you? All of you memorize what we learned? Okay, good. Then can you say any example for acid and bases? Okay. Here I am writing acid is, can you say any example? Okay, you can say hydrochloric acid. Okay, hydrochloric acid. And can you say any example for base? It may be sodium hydroxide, like that, anything you can write, okay? So, sodium hydroxide, I am writing here. What will happen if hydrochloric acid is mixing with sodium hydroxide? What will happen if hydrochloric acid is mixing with sodium hydroxide? Which reaction we will get? We can check it, okay? In this reaction, we will get H2O, water. This one H and here OH is there, right? So it will become H2. One H here and one more H here. So that is H2 and O. This is water, okay? And rest is what children? NaCl. Rest is NaCl, okay? So in this reaction, when hydrochloric acid mixing with the sodium hydroxide, we will get water and Salt, NaCl. Heat also evolved. Heat also evolved in this reaction. This reaction we call neutralization. When acid is mixing with sodium hydroxide, we will get water and sodium chloride. That is salt. Right. This reaction we call neutralization. This reaction we call neutralization. That is when acid is mixing with base we will get water and salt okay heat also evolved in this reaction so this reaction we call what children neutralization it is very important neutralization is very important so do you know children phenolphthalein is a type of an indicator we know that what is indicator. We already learned some example about the indicators also. So phenolphthalein is a type of indicator. When we are adding phenolphthalein in acidic solution, that solution become colorless. That solution become colorless. But when we are adding this indicator or phenolphthalein into basic solution, it will become, that solution will become pink color. Okay. So, all should have to do one experiment in your home. Like that you have to mix the acid and base. Then you will get one neutralized solution. For example, you can take uh, you can take the soap solution. Okay, it is a base, right? Basic in nature. That soap solution you have to mix with the one acidic solution that is vinegar you can take. Okay, vinegar. And mix with the vinegar, what you will get? You just inform the result. Okay, dear. Let us all know about neutralization that is happening in our daily life. For example, let us first take indigestion. What is indigestion, children? You already know about the digestion, right? As you know about digestion is happening in stomach, right? And which acid is helping for the digestion, children? It is hydrochloric acid, right? If it is too much of hydrochloric acid in our stomach, what will happen children? It will cause acidity, right? Acidity or we can say it is an indigestion, okay? Indigestion, very pain. Because of indigestion, we have to take some one base. Which base? Okay, which base we have to take inside? That is magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium hydroxide, okay? This magnesium hydroxide is a base. Like a tablet, we are taking for the acidity. Okay, so what reaction will happen in stomach? When acid is mixing with the base, it will neutralize the acid effect. Okay, so pain also relief. We can get the relief from the pain. Okay, so in our daily life also, neutralization is happening. Let us know about the sting of an ant contains folic acid. Okay, that is when ant is biting in our skin, we feel very pain, right children? Because of why formic acid is present in the sting of the ant. Okay. And that time we are using, we are rubbing, we are using or we are rubbing some moist baking soda. Okay. Formic acid contained in sting of, as sting of ant. 
hand okay and it is very painful for relief from that pain we are using baking soda moist baking soda or we are using we are rubbing our children calamine lotion also we can use okay calamine lotion also we can rub in the skin for relief from the pain because this is a basic in nature this is acidic in nature this is basic in nature so that pain will relieve right so this also one of the neutralizers sometimes we are saying this soil is not good for the cultivation so for reducing the acidity we are using some basic substances like sodium hydroxide or we are using sodium oxide like that we are using for to reduce the acidity of the soil and how we reduce the basic nature of the soil we can use some organic matter okay we can use some organic matter into the soil then it will neutralize the basic nature of the soil okay when we are discharging the factory waste into the water body what will happen too many organism killed by this factory waste right because it is acidic in nature so before discharging the factory waste into the water body we have to use some bases for the neutralization so then only it will be maintained clear all of you so acid base is very important and neutralization process is very important in our daily life so all should have to read the chapter so students today's topic question for you what is the chemical formula of salt now only i discussed in our class so you have to recheck one more time all should have to send the answer within one hour and we can meet in our next class thank you